then. Let's have a look at today's predictions. Saturday the 19th of November. Um, didn't do a video yesterday, I don't think. Can't remember if we did one the day before. Uh, on three predictions. I had someone message me saying, like complaining, oh, you didn't do the predictions today. Can <laughs> you make sure you do them tomorrow? Like, man, this is free stuff. Like, I'll do it when I can. Cheek, man. Free, free selections, you know what I mean? I'm not, I don't have to do it. So, today, um, value selections, yeah, 19th November. There's quite a lot going on today, actually, which is, uh, I, knew, I knew there would be, but I think a lot of people are surprised because the big European leagues and world leagues are obviously out of action, but there's loads going on in the lower leagues, and I really like getting involved in the lower leagues uh, betting, and I find I get some real good value there, so I'm unpleased. Um, excuse me, sorry, that was rude. Uh, so I'm looking at today, League One, on the actual value selections tab for the members, there's about... 10 I think and I genuinely made notes on I think it was five games that I was going to give away for free so I was going to always going to give one or two and then I ended up making notes on five and I was like man which ones so I've narrowed it down to these two tomorrow on the results you'll see which ones were the other ones and whether they came in so I'm hoping that these two uh, are solid now the first one is in league one at three o'clock and it's Burton Albion versus Plymouth both of them have gone for away wins uh, to get that bit of extra value um, as you can see we've got Plymouth winning this one, uh, 1.47 according to our stats would be fair. Um, and at the time of looking, I was getting 250, um, 2.50 for the Plymouth win, which I think is great value. Uh, Plymouth haven't lost in 14 games. Um, they've won 11 and drawn three. So, I mean, that shows you what sort of form they're in. Uh, they're first in the table. Burton are 23rd, I think it is. I didn't mark that down. I'm pretty sure it was 23rd. Um, and they've uh, Plymouth have drawn three and won two of the last five away games. Uh, I have written this down. Burton won two, drawn two, lost one at home. So that's not terrible. They're not in terrible form at home. Winning two and drawing two, losing one. That's solid home form, to be fair. So they're not they're not pushovers. Um, but I just think the value in Plymouth, with how strong they are as a team, um, that fourteen game unbeaten run. Um, I just think that's too high. The the, the price is too high for Plymouth. Um, so, yeah, I'm happy to recommend taking that on. I'd, I'd like to see a narrow Plymouth win. I don't think it'll be easy, but I think they've got enough quality in that team uh, and their results back that up, that 2.50 um, for Plymouth win is good, solid value. So, it's again, it's a definition of a value bet. Um, it's an away, away win, so there's always risks with an away win. But, yeah, I like it. Um, League 2, the next one, Stockport, Leighton Orient. Now, this one, when I, on first inspection, I thought, what in the world? Like, how can that possibly be the correct price at 3.5 for Latin Orient? I still think it's massive. But um, when you look at Stockport, they've won, true, won two, drawn two, uh, and lost one of their last five home games. Again, a little bit like Burton. They're in, they're in good home form. Um, and I think they're, un, they're unbeaten in, like, I don't know, quite a few... Um, Quite a few going. That's good. I mean, uh, I can't. I did write it down. Unbeaten in. I can't read my own writing. But back, I know they lost their. They won their last two home games to nil as well. So basically, they're in decent home form. Um, that's just going. Um, Latin Orient have won three, drawn one, lost one away from home, which is good away form. Um, but in eighteen games, um, Latin Orient they've played eighteen, won thirteen, drew three, and lost two. I mean, that's an amazing record, and they're first in the table as you'd expect with a record like that. So their recent form hasn't necessarily been as good as their earlier form with winning three, drawing one, losing one away from home, for example. That, that The draws and the losses have one of each has come in the last five games, but overall they've only drawn three and lost two games in 18 matches. And I think, you know, um, form is temporary, as they say. And I think they're still in good enough form to back anyway. Um, it's a re- it is a bit of a risky one because Stockport at home are very good and you know they're in good form. Like I say, that momentum could carry them for another few weeks yet. But I just feel that Leighton Orient is such a good team at that level that three point five zero can't be ignored. If that was at two point five zero, I'd probably be wanting to get involved a bit like the Plymouth game, but maybe might be a bit hesitant. One point eight six to two point five is there enough value for me to recommend? But three point five, I can't. I can't leave that one out. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going for a Latin Orient winning that one at three o'clock in League Two. Uh, as I said, there were a few others. There was the Harrogate Mansfield game. I'm just reading what I'd written down. Um, and there was one in the Northern League, um, National League North. 
first game, you can give it an A. I can't remember who it was, but um, that that was interesting to me as well. Um, you'll see tomorrow. So, how are we getting on there? Let's have a look. I'll just quickly wrap this up. Um, so, 19th of November, I've put 19th, it should say 18th. So, we're in good good, good position. We're 23.43 uh, points in profit as of yesterday. So, the 15-day profit, so over two weeks, 23 points. Uh, yesterday, as we can see what was going on, we had a decent start to the to the tab yesterday and then it filtered off a bit. So uh, an easy win in, in um, Ukraine. I didn't back the home win. Wish I had. There was, there was value, but not enough for me to take on. But nice to get the overs in at 1.90. Um, we got a nice away win in Turkey. Um, so we got 1.08 profit there. Another nice away win in Germany. Narrowly missed out in another German game. Uh, lost out in Poland. Another draw. Didn't get Portsmouth Derby was nil nil, so the unders came in, and then no good in Netherlands, and we got the home win quite easily in Spain, leaving us one point eight eight profit yesterday. Uh, the previous day, I don't think I'd recorded the previous day. I don't, yeah, it was. I mean, there was only three games, so it's a small minus one point one five. Um, we got the young PSV. You might have seen if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram. One of them I put on. Uh, they got a last minute winner, um, which I was buzzing about. Drew, the Ajax, um, AZ Alkmaar drew, so we didn't quite get that. And this one was 2-1, so we only know it out, but it leaves us with a minus 1.15. So then we recovered that and added a little bit more yesterday to leave us on 23.43. So really happy with that. Hopefully more to come today. Uh, please like and subscribe. Check out my last video for tips on how to make money during the World Cup using this very method. Um, and I'm excited about that. I'm going to be posting for members each day along with these uh, the existing pack I'm going to be throwing in every World Cup game as well um, seeing what our adapted Poisson looks like just to give a bit of a hint um, might find it useful even if you're not betting straight on it to using Akers for unders or overs um, because it might give you an indication of whether it's going to be a high or low scoring game so I'll be updating that manually throughout the World Cup and uh, yeah I look forward to seeing you in the next video see you later